Two doctors here at UNMH are closely analyzing lab results for COVID-19 patients in our state, and they've found that most of our infections are travel related, coming out of places like Europe and New York. We've been doing genome sequencing of SARS coronavirus, two positive samples that we've obtained here from the Department of Health in New Mexico. Tracking COVID-19, where the virus has been and where it might be going. It confirms a lot of what we suspected initially um, in the importance of international travel serving as a major driver in the initial spread of the virus. University of New Mexico hospital doctors received about 80 positive COVID-19 cases and have completed genetic sequencing on about 48 of them. The strains that we are seeing in New Mexico are more similar to the strains coming out of Europe and the strains coming out of New York than we are seeing compared to some of the, the strains um, or some of the genome sequences that we have seen from China. Doctors say every positive case is related to a different geographic location because strains mutate over time. We have some that are related to Utah and Washington. So, you know, it's, it's this confluence of multiple, I guess we call them introductions coming into the state. And these doctors aren't the only ones doing this. They're part of a national consortium of research universities universities and public health departments working to track the disease. We're kind of combining uh, modeling efforts in order to help provide our policymakers and public health officials with more information to help them uh, you know, guide us through this, this pandemic. The doctors tell me they'd like to analyze all COVID-19 cases in New Mexico, but that will depend on funding. Reporting in Albuquerque, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. The doctors say having the genetic sequencing for different COVID-19 strains will help doctors develop therapies and vaccines.